How's it going everyone? Movies and Us here. In this video we're going to be talking about the Doctor Strange movie. Me and Angie went and watched it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Really good. Two thumbs up on it. It's Benedict did good. amazing in it. Benedict um, Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. I love saying his name. But I yeah, love hearing him cool. talk. And I mean he had an American accent in this yes, one. He did. Yeah. So he does very well. It was very weird because I was expecting it. You know the British but of course you know Stephen Strange not British so. Yeah. But he, he did a very good with the American accent. He was so good. His part, like, he made me forget that he was British. So Yeah, he, he did. The, during the whole entire time, I did not think he was British. Yeah, I really forgot. Like, it I did great. too. I, and he got Stephen Strange down to a T. He knew it, like, perfectly. He, he, he did, did so, so good. so good with it. I, yes. I thought it was so funny, him uh, trying to make Wong laugh. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. So before we go any further, um, there's going to be some spoilers. You know, yeah. we're going to be talking about the movie, of course. If you don't want to ruin it for yourself, you know, quit watching. But come back to us because we want to know your opinions, too. And, you know, mm -hmm. you can watch what we think of it. Um, give your input. Leave us a comment. You know, like or share. Yeah. Or subscribe. So Yeah, let us know what you liked about the movie, what you didn't like about it. Mm -hmm. um, you want to go first? You want me to go first on what I liked and what I didn't like? Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what I liked about it was, uh, again, Stephen, or not Stephen, but Benedict uh, did very, very well with it. Mm -hmm. um, the outfit looked amazing for him. The cloak looked really, really good, spot on with it. Um, as far as Rachel did good, um, and uh, like trying to uh, make Wong laugh was another funny thing. I did like that. Mm -hmm. And that guy's um, name in real life is Wong. Yeah, yeah. His last <laughs> name's Wong. Yeah, it, I think. that's his real name. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that that was really, really funny. And and another good part about that too, dealing with Wong, um, is this the fact that just the one word like Beyonce. Yeah, he's like Eminem. so. It's just one that like so. It's just like uh, what did he say? What did he say first though? Uh, what did he say? He said uh, oh crap, I can't remember now. I know he said Drake. Yeah, he said uh, Eminem. He's like. Uh, <laughs> Dre, he was talking about, because he said Beyonce last the next time he yeah. showed up. Uh, yeah, he was Bono. talking about. He said Bono. Yeah, Bono. That was just funny. And then mm -hmm. finally at the end, he made him laugh. But I will say real fast, you know, when, I mean, they're getting ready near the end to kick some ass. And Wong gets out there, you know, and I'm like, listen, I'll freak the fuck out in the theater. If Wong gets killed, I will <laughs> yeah. freak out. And it was pretty packed in there, but I did not freak out. Yeah. But the, the well, the only reason he didn't freak out was because he died. But Doctor Strange used the amulet to reverse yeah, time, so he kind of brought him back. Yeah, so. which was really really cool, by the way. That amulet is awesome. Um, it is an infinity gem. Well, they they say Stone. stones, but um, I it is basically in the comics, it's infinity gems. Mm -hmm. Um, but that was one thing I did not like about it, um, because it is a fact, I know that they're going to tie it all in with Thanos and stuff, yeah. and it's cool to see all that come together once it, once it does, but it's really weird seeing the eye be a stone. One of the, like the stone being yeah. in the amulet. Yeah, that because just, cause it wasn't, so, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> well, we talked <laughs> about weird. that, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the gems are supposed to be fragments of the galaxy, so it's really weird to see... A magic amulet, because it's not a fragment of the galaxy, really. As it's, far as I know, I it's mean, not. I mean, it's the mystical powers. Well, yeah, it's like the mystic. That. It's like the dark Cosmics. arts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you know, it's just <clears throat> the gems, stones are just they're bigger than that. Especially yeah. together, though. Yeah. I mean, they're still powerful individually. Oh my God, of course, but yeah, oh yeah, you know. So we'll, I guess we'll see. You know, mm -hmm. But uh, gauntlet, so. One thing, uh, the Dormammu thing, I know you didn't like that either. Yeah, he was um, just, uh, he was a head, like, you know, Parallax. <coughs> yeah, he was kind of like Green Parallax Lantern. and stuff, man. You know, we, we were all talking about it, we talked about it with my cousin, and he thought the same thing too, so it was mm -hmm. like, we expected to see him in his form, because he's got a pretty badass form. Yeah, like, the I mean, he's a scary head dude. is insane, uh, the body yeah. is insane, it's so cool. <clears throat> it's so cool because he's a dark magic, he's like the, pretty much the biggest, baddest dark magic wielder. Yeah. Like, he, he's the shiz news, as you would say, or whatever. The big bad. The big bad kahuna. Yeah. And mm. I just really would like to have seen him down to that form. But I guess, mm. you know, in the scene where Strange goes up against him, it's actually pretty cool. Because Strange is this little thing. And, you know, mm. he does the moment in time where, you know, he's pretty yeah, much Yeah, it's just an infinite time loop. Yeah, it's an yeah, infinite it time a... loop. And then you have this big bad that's not supposed to be scared of anything. Yeah. So I guess that kind of went see... along... With mm -hmm. this powerful dude, and Strange is so small, and he just yeah. outwits him, and 
you know, it's, it's a power control thing. So I guess it kind of made up for it, but still would have been cool to see him in his actual form. Yeah, I, I can see why they did it. Um, I had also talked to you about it. Uh, in my opinion is the fact that they will save some of the stuff for the next one because at the end of the movie, you get to see, you got to stay past all the credits because right at the end of the movie when they say the end is when they show the scene with him and Thor. No, him and Thor, they showed their the actors' names and then it was him and Thor. Yeah, and then it was him and Thor, yeah, but, but then, then after, they showed the credits. And then the credits and then the main end yeah. was you seen, you, you know, you get to see, Yeah, it's still the power off the yeah. dude that was paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm thinking <coughs> that they're saving Dormammu's actual silhouette of his body for the second one. Maybe, I don't know, that's just my opinion. They could, he could not even be in the second one. It could just be about the Chiato dude or, or however you pronounce his name. Pretty sure I butchered that name. I apologize. But I, yeah. I for one thing, he's got a really cool name. Uh, he, another, does. he does. Actually. Another thing, too, where, um, Near the end, he's like, I cannot follow this path anymore. So he yeah. leaves, you know, them and the mm -hmm. sorcerer behind. And uh, like you said, we see him in the end. And um, I think he has his staff, like the staff, or it's the samurai sword on his mm -hmm. back, right? Mm -hmm. One of the two. But yeah. anyways, when he was walking away from him, I kept thinking he's going to go kill Mal and Wash and Zoe and Keely and them, you know, Firefly reference. You know, in Serenity, <laughs> he's the bad guy. So I kept thinking, huh. So that's what turned him evil. So <laughs> there we go. Time two different timelines in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. a big years yeah. gap. But yeah. I, just, I that's what just something funny running through my head about yeah. it. Yeah. But uh, other than that, um, there really wasn't. Those were like the biggest things that we didn't like about it because there was a, the good things outweighed the bad things of tremendously. Course. We should like, we didn't get to watch it in three D, but we should no. have. I really regret not watching um, it in three D because there's some you know insidious. I'm not insidious, but Inception. Uh, in, Interception. Inception, Inception. Sorry, like feel well, to it's it. Just, it's like a mirror cracking, and you're separating mm. the pieces. And it was just like really the buildings cool. over here, yeah. over here, you know. And and at one point, I really, really I turned to him and was like, "I'm getting dizzy." Yeah. Like it was just, it was wild yeah. until you know the Sorcerer Supreme came and was like, "Chill, and yeah, like, chill out. It all out." Yeah, and you know, till the is such a great actor actress sorry like i mean but we see her play roles where her gender is not very distinct and that's what i like about her a lot too because like in constantine you know she is uh one of the angels and mm -hmm. uh she's you know angels are presumed you know have no sex and in this one you can't really tell like if it's a girl or a guy but they they do say her you know, a woman, and they explain mm -hmm. her background a little bit. She was Celtic, but you know, she won't talk about it. Which, mm -hmm. in the comic book, evil, um, the Sorcerer Supreme was Chinese, right? She was Asian. Asian. Yeah. Well, Asian of descent. I mean, mm -hmm. she. I mean, I guess with the bald and. Yeah. Well, um, um at the first of it, you <coughs> didn't. Uh, as far as the gender goes, at the first of it, you didn't really get to see, like, you didn't know if it was a guy or a girl. But that was immediately really, yeah. right after that, they you, yeah. you could tell. I mean, even yeah. though she was bald, you could tell by the facial features that of she course. was a female. Um, but we but, didn't know Tilda was, she's female. Well, well yeah, obviously. Um, but anyways, um, all the actors was really good, you know. Uh, yes, Rachel. Rachel was good. Rachel um, did have a you know, minor part that was still good. To, you know, had the love, <clears throat> the romance yeah, aspect the romanticism. there. I really like that. I mean, that's like the only watch he had left was the one that she got him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's the feels. We get the feels right there. But, mm. I mean, the graphics are so good in it. The, I, yeah, the the uh, uh, effects. They're not the factions. Um, the, uh, when he astro projects like yeah. that. Oh, my God. Um, that was so cool because they're like, they're swimming. Mm -hmm. The effects with that was really good, really spot on. I mean, I love how they put that in there. Because Strange does that every now and yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of a word, and I couldn't think of it. I do a total brain fart. Um, the, uh, God, what was it? Uh, the effects. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, well, I can't think of the word. Uh, the effects were really good. I, I like mm -hmm. the effects, too, like you were saying. Another cool thing that I liked about it was... Benedict did such a good job with it because he went from, like, you get to see the transition from him becoming Stephen to Strange. 
like Doctor Strange, I should say. Uh, well, like Mr. the Doctor, arrogant Doctor. Mr. Doctor. I could fix it. I yeah, could have done yeah. better. He's, he's arrogant. I could have done... Well, ex when, when he has the car wreck, which the car scene was, whoo, man. That was, oh, God. It's like you're actually in the car with him. Yeah, that was scary. That was, I was very, scary. very... I, I was, too, actually. Should have died. <laughs> he really should have. He did, like, eight flips, went down the hill yeah. and everything. And when he, you see him, uh, he's pretty much almost passed out like blacked out he you can see little glimpses of him when he's in when he's getting wheeled into the yeah. hospital and then um rachel's talking to him um which it looks like a couple months had passed because his christine. face was heels and stuff yeah christine and um he's got his hands stuck like there's so many stitches in them and so he's many... like what did they do that's all he asked he doesn't mm -hmm. ask what happened he's like yeah. what did they do he's like what did they and do you see, i mean you see him go from that then... Well, yeah, he he said the fact because uh, we were uh, <coughs> talking to your cousin about it too. Um, that was one of the coolest parts, like the arrogant side, where he's like, "What did they do?" And and they said they did the best they could. And he's like, "Well, I could have done better." Yeah, you know, and that's of course just the arrogant side. Well, he could have. Really, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but, but like there was definitely we were talking about. We see him transition through the film. There's several parts where we see him get more of his humanity like he actually yeah. doesn't think of himself anymore he thinks of everybody else too and mm -hmm. i mean he goes back to thinking about his love with christine and things like that but there was a um the biggest part for me that i actually got to see the change in his eyes too is, i mean benedict he's just great um was after he killed one of the henchmen he you know is just like Ah, like I can't do this. Like I don't kill people. I took an oath and had you yeah. said uh, you remember yeah. exactly what he said. He said uh, I took it. He said I took an oath uh, to save lives, not take lives. Yeah, and I you just see the emotion in his face. Like what had happened? What did yeah. I do? Like I I don't want to yeah, do he, that. He he went down <clears> that. <throat> sorry, you can just see him go down that dark path <clears throat> just for like a split second. He wasn't down it very long, but you could just see just after he did it, so... you can tell he's like, "Oh my god, I killed this man!" Yeah, and that's how like he's still a man. Did, did so good with that because wow. just the, his facial expressions and he actually such a good actor could tell like, man, like I, you know, I took I would never think of to take a life, but then like that was when you were talking about earlier when we got out, well not earlier today but yesterday when we got out of the movies, you're talking about like. You can see him. That was when he became full, like Stephen Strange, like Doctor Strange, like serious. Like, that was when he was serious, like I'm charge, saving yeah. lives, like you know, I'm, I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect and <laughs> save this world because this world means the world to me, and I'd do anything for it. Yeah, and then he um, becomes master of New York, it, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, we we definitely got to touch on uh, the cloak, man. Oh that's... yes, yes was so super good we i mean it was it, it i love it because we got to see the personality of the cloak you know it, mm. it was the thing that chose him yeah cloak and, chose him. yes like you were talking about how uh when he first put it on like it's not pot like it's not straight all the yeah, way yeah the colors are not pointed out and then near um when he's getting ready to literally go face the rest of the bad guys you know no, it was after that, wasn't it? Well, anyways, like he finally like his collar, he pops it. it was that like... was that was right when he was getting ready to go fight the the dude, um, like legitly because they had just taken over Hong Kong. Okay, that the, part I didn't and, know if it was before or after. Yeah, that. but like, anyways, they had, and yeah. he was getting ready to go, had the amulet ready to go. He's like, I now I'm being busy. I'm ready to kick some ass. Yeah, so. that's how you know. It's like yeah, mm -hmm. good to go. Mm -hmm. And I just thought how everything fell into place was good you know like him reading all the books of course we figured that from you know mm -hmm. Steve, dr stephen strange and then you know he goes and he puts the amulet on like you're really not supposed to do that and then he does you know the spell and he's not supposed to yeah he reverses and <coughs> time well <coughs> excuse me all the stuff goes down and he still has the amulet on you know mm -hmm. of course so it's like everything tied in very well and uh i just i really liked it it was it was really it, it, it really was good. it was incredibly good. Marvel's doing a really well really written. good job tying everything in. Um, for those of you who uh, haven't watched the movie yet, if you're watching this, we probably spoiled a lot for you. Um, so we so apologize for that. But I want to touch on uh, another thing real fast. Well, two more things I want to touch on. 
is the fact that it, it's so cool to see him develop so fast with the magic. There was a That's scene close. when he <coughs> had the amulet on for the first time. He was the apple that was laying on the counter there. He was turning back time to where the apple yeah, wasn't eaten at all. Him. And then he would turn it back to where it was fully eaten and then rotted. Yeah. Kept turning it back. And then he f- restored the pages in the book for the ritual, mm-hmm. you know, to summon Dormammu. And he was, you know, by the time he, he was able to open the portal w- uh, with the ring, he was still in books in the library with the portal. And Wong so didn't even... Love Wong. Wong was listening to Beyonce because he called her, <coughs> he said Beyonce. Yeah, he to, never you never listened know, to her. And he yeah. never listened. But, but we're done rambling on. That was yeah, we're done we rambling just, on. We were excited about it. Um, You know, just finding out more information about Strange too, about all Marvel characters. So, you know, just let us know what you guys thought about yeah, the movie. Yeah. Thought about, you know, our opinions. We want to hear yours. If we got something wrong, mess something up. Yes, um, make sure to correct us. Yeah, correct for us. Sure, and sure. I'm pretty sure we might have butchered some of the names. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And I apologize for coughing. I've just had all this this going on. So. <laughs> what is this? It's like I got all this <laughs> going all on. This, the sickness. All of this. But, uh, yeah, make sure to, cor- to correct us. I'm pretty yeah. sure we, we messed up on some stuff. It's okay. Um, we yeah, love movies, okay. and that's why we just yeah. give our opinions. We're really passionate about it. Yes, and we're really passionate about you guys uh, giving your opinions on mm-hmm. them, too, and making sure that we get them down right, and if we did butcher anything, we want to know about it, because yeah. um, we are obviously uh, bigger DC fans. You can tell by us, majority of our videos, you know, with our shirts, we wear a lot of DC stuff, uh, The DC, all the DC brands. stuff in the, in the background. But we love Marvel too, though, and it's so good to see these movies finally deserve the the fan and the acknowledgement that they need to get. Like yeah, they deserve it so much. I mean, because Comic superheroes books. are amazing. Superheroes got me through some of the toughest times growing up. You know, oh yeah, they give you faith. They they make you feel powerful and and want to go out and believe in yourself and do other things. Mm-hmm. And it's so just, great! It's yeah. so great to see see them come Marvel and DC so much. It's yeah, so awesome. I, when I was growing up, Superman was just such a big idol because no matter what happened, I mean, this is a man, you know, an alien that lost his whole race. Mm-hmm. Like he lost everybody. You know, yeah. his cousin though miraculously, you know, escaped too. But it's like he lost everybody. How could he not be so angry all the time? And he just realized. Yeah. That you can't, well, and it's you gotta keep hope for the future, yeah. and that's what always stuck with me. But it's also like Professor X and Marvel; he's a, such a brilliant man too, and he always oh, yeah. keeps hope for the future, well, no matter what. There's, I mean, you it just like <coughs> Doctor Strange, man. He come back for who would ever come back from a car accident like that? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, he lost the mobility up. of his hands. He didn't give up. He wanted to give up yeah. at first, but you know, Rachel Christine. Pushed him through it and uh, somewhat, but like somewhat, he finally well, gave realized, him the boost that he needed. Yeah, really. he realized it just wasn't about getting his hands back. It realized something bigger than mm-hmm. him. So that was but, that was really cool to see that in there. Yeah, but yeah, okay. There, there's yeah. Sorry, we just keep rambling. I could talk about superheroes all day. Yeah, but uh, anyway, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe as well, leave a little comment down below, and we want to thank you all so much for thank the support. You. That you guys have been showing us. Uh, Wonder Woman trailers killed it so far. Mm-hmm. We're almost up to 2,000 views. I need to check it again. We might be at 2,000. Um, I believe we're at like 20 subscribers now, 21, somewhere around that area. Thank so you. Guys. Thank you to the recent subscribers. Thank you all so much for joining. We really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Travis. I'm Angie. We're Movies and Us, and we'll catch everyone next time. See ya. See ya.